sometimes i don't want to look at who god is i'm trying to figure out what he can do for me but in that business of trying to figure out what he can give you with his hands look up hello honeys it's yours and welcome back to my channel i know i cut my hair and i will discuss it i promise you near the end of this video but for now i just felt the urge while i was editing actually to sit down and really talk about this new season um that we've just entered the second half of 2021 and whenever i have a feeling or an urge to film i go for it i, I literally just do if you do enjoy my sit down videos definitely give this video a massive thumbs up and of course don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already hey there <laughs> it's y'all's channel for me 2021 was so intense at least the first half of 2021 it felt like it was 2020 with more intensity on all levels some of you guys already know i've had it really really tough this year probably tougher than last year but honestly it's just made me a stronger and better person um and for the most part a more open and transparent person the one thing i would hate to do is to hide the times when i am down to hide the times where things are real the struggle is real in my life and i show you only the perfected uh you know forged up curated portion of my life which is not real i am also aware that 2021 in fact from 2020 a lot more people had it so much more harder than i did and much more harder than you may have also you know been through you think it's tough and then you're just like oh yeah someone actually has it harder but i want to remind you that you know what god is still on the throne and in a time like this where i think for me the, the biggest lesson in the first half of 2021 was I focused so much on what I can get from the Lord every time I went down on my knees and I prayed it's like Lord do this for me Lord please heal me Lord please this and that forgetting the fact that in seeking his hand we forget to actually seek his face seek his countenance which is far more important to him I believe than it is um, you know him just serving one need in our life or him serving one dimension of our lives when he is a multi multi-faceted multi-dimensional God who is more than able more than capable greater than everything um, greater than our circumstance he is you know he was and he, he is to come and that still stands today and sometimes we forget that when we are so focused on this one thing that needs to be served or satisfied in our lives and yes he's a god who works yes he's a god of miracles but that's not all he is and i just want to remind you that because entering this new season that's one thing i certainly am hopeful will change firstly in my prayer life that i now not only look at what God can give me in terms of serving my needs but who he is as a whole you know the great I am and what that stands for you know when we read John 1 verse 1 it really really needs to be established and engraved in our minds that in the beginning was the word and in the beginning was the word and I repeat in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word is who it is god in fact let's go and read it john 1 verse 1 in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god you know and that still remains the same regardless of what we may be going through so i just really want you to take that home that his word shall never return to him null and void every single thing god releases out of his mouth shall never return to him null and void instead it will actually establish and accomplish what he has sent it to do so can you imagine his promises over our lives but not just that <laughs> not just his promises but everything else surrounding his plans for our lives everything else surrounding all that he has birthed us for his purpose for our lives and that still stands today with the turmoil that's going on with the tribulations with the unemployment with the job losses um with the trials with the hunger you know um the physical hunger <laughs> but also the spiritual hunger that that exists you know that should exist in our lives he is the word and his word stands still today amongst everything amongst the noise that's going on amongst this level four lockdown god is the word and his word is literally that 
he is not a man that he should lie you know god is still the same today as he was yesterday and he will be the same forever so i just want to remind you that entering this new season no matter what goes on understand who he is and i know i've said this before but it has become more and more real to me because sometimes i don't want to look at who god is i'm trying to figure out what he can do for me but in that business of trying to figure out what he can give you with his hands look up look up and seek his face look up and seek his countenance seek ye first the kingdom not the things that must come right in my life <laughs> not the things that i need not the food that i need to eat today let's seek his face this season let's actually just prioritize him rather than our needs and what i i i want even in prayer you know i used to really love praying for other people and i believed it was actually a gift um i still believe it's a gift intercession standing in the gap for people and i lost that along the way especially when it comes to self-pity which as christians we don't really want to talk about but there's a lot of self-pity that happens when we go on down on our knees and start praying about our needs and us and us and my life at lord and do this lord and what about this lord in my life when you're going fix this in my life and that really this season i am intentionally trying to change that in my prayer life i really wanted to rather if anything if i'm praying for a person lord may it be about other people's needs um and if i'm praying to the person who god is lord may it put you first above all things you know so i just wanted to drop that in your spirit and really just allow you to soak into who god is and the fact that his word stands even in this noise even in this new season and, and as we enter it just allow him to really be the beginning and the end we are so quick to sing you are alpha and omega but do we really know what that means if he is the beginning and the end it means that even in our struggles allow him to be the beginning allow him to be the first allow him to be the priority not his hands <laughs> not the palm of his hand not what he can do for you but him being the god who he says he is him being the father to the fatherless him being the help the healer and everything else surrounding that and him being the god who created you on this earth and who is faithful and true to see you through every single season and i really hope that this sits with you especially going into the second half of 2021 i do believe that this latter will be greater than our former the former being the first half of this year and that as long as we stay faithful in believing that god is the word and his word is the last word in our our lives it's the first word and the very last word and whatever he says goes whatever comes our way we will be able to handle so much better and i think even now if i had done what i'm doing now and realized what i realize now in the beginning of the year there are so many situations i would have handled so much better just understanding that it is about reprioritizing who god is in our lives and refocusing um, and shifting our focus from here to there you know let's not limit him to just giving us things let us uh, open up ourselves for him to give himself to us fully and completely for us to really enjoy this relationship that we have with god by understanding that he wants us to have all that he is and all that he has to offer which is far more than his hands so yeah i leave you with that i will leave a little video that i posted on instagram all about my hair so that you see how i say goodbye to my mohawk but yeah here's to a new season here's to new beginnings and you'll see the update on this video i don't want to really talk about it because it's a repeat <laughs> that has already been shared on my instagram again if you don't follow me on instagram just do at y'all's channel but otherwise that is it honeys i hope this will encourage you entering this new season and hopefully it will give you more hope that god is still on the throne and that's all that matters i love you guys so so much do subscribe if you did enjoy this video and of course if these series of sitting down is your thing give this video a massive thumbs up i love you guys so so much bye you're more hog today we part ways but thank you for a beautiful year and a half
Miss Universe said, I wore you like a jewel and I absolutely love how you made me feel. You redefined the standards of beauty. I am now more confident in the way that I wear my hair, regardless of the hairstyle. So as I prep for today, I just want to say thank you for all that you have done for me, especially in the natural hair care space, making me understand that natural hair is not defined by the hair on the sides, but rather every single strand that's on your head that is yours and wearing that proudly regardless of the color the shape the kink the coil and today even as we say goodbye hey it might not be the last time but i just want to say thank you and i absolutely love you here's to new beginnings i am so excited and i can't wait to rock this new journey with love y'all's